guys, welcome back to another empties video. I cannot believe how fast I've accumulated all these empties. I think I just did one a month ago and usually it takes me a few months to get a bunch of garbage. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, maybe I'll try to do the food first. I mean, it's all in this bucket in no order, but I'll just try to do the food items first. So the first thing I am pulling out, this is my very favorite. It's from Dollar Tree and they are the fudge mint cookies. These are just exactly like a Girl Scout Thin Mint. They're the best and I love them and I still have some in my cupboard right now. If you love Thin Mints, go to your Dollar Tree and see if they have them. Sometimes they have them and sometimes they don't, but when they do, I stock up. I do. They're amazing. They're amazing. They're amazing. So there is that. The next thing I am pulling out is this Bob Evans. Um, these are pre-made original mashed potatoes. These are really super good. Um, they come like this big tub and they have different flavors. I know they have sour cream and chive. Um, I think they have loaded where there might be a little bit of bacon in there. The sour cream and chives ones are really, really good. Um, but these, they don't taste fake or artificial in any way. And they aren't, they're potatoes. So these are so convenient. You just pop them in the microwave for like a couple of minutes. You stir them up, put them in for another minute poof, you're done. And if you don't have the sour cream and onion or chives, you can just, I put my own sour cream in here and I mix onion salt in it or onion powder. And let me tell you what, for all of you who know me, you know I love onion powder. Well, I also love it in these. Onion powder makes the world go round. Try onion powder on your food. It makes a world of difference. I'm telling you what. The next food item I have is this Pioneer Woman Fried Chicken. This was so good. I got it at Walmart, and I also got this at Walmart. I think this was $5 and change, and you get two breasts. One was just a little smaller than the other, but they're a good size. They're kind of thick. They're tremendously tasty. The chicken has a great texture. It's all, it's all white meat breast. I didn't have any fat on mine. I didn't taste any boingy stuff. I didn't see any pipes. I didn't see any veins. This was amazing. And it comes with a pack of white gravy. And I was kind of wary that maybe the gravy wouldn't be enough. Like it was just going to be this little pouch. But we had leftover gravy. And we had it with these. The gravy went a long way. My mouth is watering. <laughs> I'm so hungry for this. These are so good. If you've never tried them before, give them a try. This was the first time I had tried them. I love them. Even Daryl's like, these are really good. I said, yeah, we should get them again. He's like, yeah. And um, what, how did I, I put these in my air fryer and um, it was just hit and miss. I, cause I'm still kind of learning how to use my air fryer, especially when there's no recipe for that. Like you can cook these in the oven and um, and the microwave. So I just put it in my air fryer and winged it and they turned out really good. Here's a food item. This is from Dollar Tree. These are the popcorners. These are white cheddar. These are so good, you guys. And you get almost the full bag. You know how some bags, things are down to here. Well, these are like up to here. They're amazing. These are just like, it's just corn. They don't fry it, it's just puffy and they have kettle corn flavor and then they have like a jalapeno flavor. I've had them all. Kettle corn is amazing. If you're looking for something sweet with a little salt, oh, those are so good. And then these white cheddar, the cheddar is really tasty. It doesn't taste funky. It's so good. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so hungry. But, and they're not too fattening or anything. These are so good. 
Another thing from Dollar Tree that I love are these Dandy Pack rice crackers. They were so good. It's like Zen Mix, and these are better than what you can get at Target in the tubs. These are amazing. The flavor is good. They're not stale. I bought some in stores in little packs like this, and you could tell they've been around for a while. They were stale. These are so crisp, and they're kind of got like this tiny bit of a sweetness to each one, and they're kind of, some of them are a tiny, tiny bit spicy, which added a great kick. These are amazing, absolutely amazing. They don't come with nuts or anything. So I added my own nuts to these, and then they were just so good. So when I go back to Dollar Tree, I'm for sure getting these, for sure. If they find, again, hard to find. And I found these with the potato chips, you know, in the chip aisle. These are kind of hard to find too. So if you like the, that kind of thing and you see them at the Dollar Tree, just take a chance, spend that dollar and take, buy some, you will love them. Oh, here's another popcorner. I just love these so much. And these are my favorite drink things. They're the Crush Singles To Go. The orange is my very favorite. I get this at Dollar Tree. They also have pineapple and grape and strawberry and I've had all of them and orange is my very favorite orange is my very favorite they're just so good and even though they're sugar-free they're quite sweet they're just amazing I love the flavor of the orange it's really nice I just love it let's see this food item <laughs> This is the sweet potato pie. It's a mini one and it's from Patti LaBelle. I got it at Walmart, 50 cents. These little pies are 50 cents and they've got all different other kinds of little pies for 50 cents. But sweet potato pie, it, this is amazing. Forget pumpkin pie from now on, forget it. This is so velvety smooth it is quite sweet. You can taste all of the spices in it, the nutmeg. It is absolutely amazing. And I usually only get these around the holidays, like mostly Christmas and Thanksgiving. But every now and then during the year, I'll just grab one of these mini ones and go to town on it. So good. These are so good. Patty LaBelle knows what she's doing when she's making these sweet potato pies. Oh. So good. Um, let's see here. I don't know how much food I have left in here. Everything's just moping around. Barnum and Bailey, or not Barnum and Bailey, but Barnum's Animal Crackers. These are so good. They're just a bunch of crumbs at the bottom. These were at my store one day, two for five, and I love these original Barnum's Animal Crackers. I just do. I don't think any other animal crackers compare to these. I just, these are what I grew up on. You know, I'm a 70s girl and they taste exactly the same. I will say the texture is a little more airy. They're not quite as dense, which I kind of miss, but these are so good. The flavor is there. I just love the original Barnums. They're so good. And, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I polished off some reduced fat Pringles. If you've never had the reduced fat Pringles, they're really good. Um, this is original. I know they have them in sour cream and onion, and I'm not sure if they have them in any other flavors in the reduced fat. But they're still crispy. They're still tasty. They don't taste funny or different. I mean, they're just a tad different all around because, you know, they're less fat, but they're really good and I love them and I get them all the time. Um, let's see. This is so good. Oh, ho, ho. I got these at Walmart. This is the Del Real Mexican tradition for modern life. It's the pollo deshebrado shredded chicken. Oh my gosh. I got these in the same place as I got the potatoes and the Pioneer Women chicken. You just get them in Walmart in the refrigerated 
section where all the meat is. <sighs> this is amazing. It comes in a microwavable bag and also has a little microwavable bowl. Does it come in a bag? I think it does. And then you cook it in the microwave and then you pour it in the plastic bowl and stir it around. And it's finely shredded. It's all white meat. It's not, it doesn't have like a smoky flavor. It's just straight up chicken breast. It, there's no seasonings or anything. It is so good. You can tell they've added a tiny bit of salt. These were amazing and I made these street tacos with it. I used the white corn tortillas. I didn't fry them, I just left them soft, but I warmed them up in the microwave. And then I had this chicken and I had some tomatillo salsa and some cheese. They were just heaven. And this has a ton of it. It's just my husband and me and so it has 15 ounces. We didn't eat nearly, we didn't even eat half of this stuff. So I wrapped it and put it in the freezer and I can totally have chicken soup with this, like make soup, make more tacos. I can make it chicken enchiladas, whatever you use shredded chicken for, in casseroles, whatever. This stuff is amazing. I think it was like five or six dollars. So worth it. It is so good and I cannot say enough good things about this. I just can't. It is amazing. Go get you some of this, if anything. Just, it, oh, so good. And I think that's it for the food. So next up, I finished off these Vitafusion Women's um, gummies. I love these. I'm on my third bottle and they're huge bottles. This one has 220 gummies. I take two a day. They have like, a dark berry flavor and a light berry. Okay, we've got raspberry and blackberry and strawberry or whatever. You can't taste all that. They just taste kind of the same, but they're different colors. But they're so boingy and bouncy and squishy and they are so good. They don't taste vitamin E. They just taste like candy. They are amazing and I never forget to take them. I just pop them in my mouth and eat them. I have a little cup on my stove that I keep my vitamins in and I will just walk by and you know for my daily vitamin dosage and I'll just pop these in my mouth and go on my way. They're so good. They are so good. Love them. And let's see. Here I have some Lemmy Shine Booster. This is Dish Detergent Booster. I really like this. I have some Oxy kind of this. Um, and it doesn't work as well. I have to use this in my dishwasher. I have to. We have super hard, hard, hard water at my house. My dishes, if I don't use this, they get spots like crazy. And I also have to use that blue liquid in the, and you know, you squeeze it in the little well to also keep the spots off. But I have to use that along with this. And if, this also helps take the food off and leave my dishes kind of shiny and stuff. If I don't use this, it gets cloudy. I have to use the Lemma Shine and the Lemma Shine is amazing. And you can get like a two pack at Sam's Club, like the big ones for really inexpensive. I just end up always getting these single ones, but I get them at the grocery store, at Walmart or wherever, but Lemma Shine is good stuff. It's the only one I'll get, only one. I got some breezies here. These are from Dollar Tree and these work great. And this came with 55. Normally you get 50, this came with 55. These just smelled so good. Out of the breezy brand, this one's my favorite scent. It's the fresh linen. Really good, it did great. My clothes weren't staticky. It was just fine, just fine. I'm trying to make a pile here. See, here I have, this is from Dollar Tree, these soft soaps. These were bar soaps and it comes with a pack of two. Can't smell it anymore, but this is the Earth Blends by Soft Soap. And these smell so good. This one is actually grapefruit, 
pink grapefruit and cucumber and this one's the best and it smells so 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 good and the soap itself is really nice it has a really good lather and it's kind of it's not slimy but it's got a good slick feel to it because we always use um, Dove bar soap and so that's more creamy so we're not used to the slickery stuff but this smelled really good when I got it at Walmart or when I smelled it at Tar or Dollar Tree so I bought it and I love it and I also bought another pack which is I thought it was the same as this but it's coconut and something else and it smells really nice too but the packaging is so similar that I didn't even realize I got two different um, scents, but this is so, oh, it smells so amazing. I just had to get it because we don't need soap. We go to Sam's Club and get the big family pack of soap, but I had to try them because they smelled so good. The next thing I have here is the pink flamingo flower. These are from Better Homes and Gardens. They're from Walmart. These were $2.00. And this one's limited edition. They still have them over there. This smelled pretty good. Um, it's a strong one. I would get it again, but I probably won't just because I get bored of stuff like this. I always have to try new scents. But it smelled really nice, and it's really strong, and it lasted all day long. And you get six squares. My kitty! Hi, Lola. Yeah, I love you. And this one I just polished off today. This one is Gain. Um, these are super strong. These are wax melts. These are way, way strong. Sometimes they're so strong I have to cut them in half because the Gain scent is just so strong. But it smells really good. It smells like Gain. It smells like laundry. It smells great. I love it. Hi, Lola. Oh, I love my Lola. So there's that. Here is some Pantene Radiant Color Shine Shampoo. I think this was my third or possibly fourth bottle. I love this stuff and it smells so good. It smells like Salon Selectives, but stronger. And it, it has a great lather. Your fingers don't get stuck in your hair. I used to have really long hair. I just got it cut two days ago but it, it had a really nice lather and my fingers didn't get stuck and it was slickery smooth, it was wonderful and I love it and I'll get it again, I will. But um, I got bored of it because this was like my third or fourth bottle and so now I'm right now I'm using a Garnier Color Shield one which is fine but this is way better, way better. But I'm just all about smell. I get tired of the same old, same old and I have to switch it up. And this is a Lavender and Jasmine Body Wash by Equate. This was from Walmart, and this smelled great. It smells really nice and soft and um, feminine and feminine. And um, paraben-free, I usually get the Dial. They have the same scent in Dial soap, and it's purple. And that smells a little better. It's, it's a little stronger and has more of a jasmine scent to it. It's really nice, but this was way cheaper. And so I bought this one and I liked it. I enjoyed it. And I would totally get it again. I finally used up my coconut and ginger soap from Bath & Body Works. I believe, well, there's a tiny bit left. I got this, I believe, last summer. And I, you know, I got like three or four of the same ones and ugh, I'm tired of them, but I used it up. I'm thinking about taking my other ones back to Bath and Body Works to exchange them. They always tell me all the time, just bring your old ones back and exchange them. I'm like, okay. So one of these days, maybe I'll go ahead and do that. But this smells really good. It, you can smell the ginger and the coconut. I smelled it at my friend's house first and I was like, dang. And so I went and got it and it smells really strong and pretty and summery and nice. It's great. And then here is some Biore Charcoal Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. These are way better than the Dollar Tree Charcoal Strips, of course, but this is actually an 18 pack. I think they were like three or four or five dollars. I don't remember. I got them online at walmart.com, but 
I love these. You just stick them on and then I get them really, really wet because they stick better when they're really wet. And I press them and press them and press them in every nook and cranny. And then I just let it dry for like 10 or 15 minutes. And then I get really up close in my magnifying mirror and I slowly rip it off, just really slowly, so I can see the little forest that starts to emerge on my little black pad. And it makes me feel good. It feels like a sense of satisfaction, you know? You know? So yeah, I love these. They're just fun to play with. <laughs> oh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Got some Dove Fresh. Um, deodorant, you know, when you take the lid off and a, the little nubbin flies off, you know it, you're done. You know it's done. But this one smelled really good. It smells really nice and fresh. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I like Dove. Sometimes, like the original scent kind of leaves me smelling like a little bit of an onion. But some of the scents don't. That one was good for me. And here I have a Purex Crystals. I just polished this off today. I'm doing laundry. This smells really, really good. This one is the Fabulously Fresh. And the crystals are green and it has a fresh, fresh, fresh laundry scent. It smells so good. But I will say it doesn't really leave your clothes smelling like this. You mostly smell your laundry detergent. I mean, you can smell it in your clothes a little, but I'll tell you what, Dollar Tree crystals are better. Better. You can smell the Dollar Tree crystals in your clothes a lot more than this. And then also with these, I overloaded my washer one day and I threw these in and I guess these didn't get dissolved in the water very well. Like a big clump of it stayed stuck in some clothes and so when I pulled out my clothes all these crystals just went flying out and I looked down and there's this big crystally clump but it didn't stain my clothes it didn't leave a powdery residue or anything they were just the crystals just clumped together so I just brushed them off and it was fine my clothes were fine I didn't need to wash them again so just you know don't overstuff your laundry and then throw these in make sure that these get enough water to, to um, dissolve them but if you do happen to get them clumped in your laundry they're not going to ruin your clothes or leave any marks or residues or anything and I've gotten these so many times but I really think I'm going to go back to Wall or Dollar Tree and get the blue ones that they have not the little waxy pellets that they have but the blue crystally ones they're really good here I have a super old Urban Decay eye primer potion I can't tell you how many years I've had this, at least four. And there's still a tiny bit left, but it's starting to separate and a little get a little bit oily. This was in the color Sin, and so it kind of leaves like a little bit of a shimmer. And it is great. It's great. I liked it a lot. I enjoyed every bit of it. But I, and it didn't stink. It just started to separate finally. And so I decided to just bite the bullet and get a new one. And so right now I have just the original. It's not, there's no color to it, there's no shimmer, and it's amazing. So I love this stuff. And this little thing here, this is my second one. This is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definer. This is, and this is in dark blonde, and I love the color, and I loved the product, the pencil itself. The only problem is every single time, even on my other one, you use it maybe once or twice, and then after that, it's broken, it breaks. This is not supposed to be like that, if you can see. This is the pencil part, which is supposed to stay in here, but it always comes unglued and it breaks off. And so every single day, I'd have to pull it apart and stick it back in every single day. And then when you get to the end, it won't twist up anymore. 
I guess there is a tiny bit of nubbin in there that I could have used up, but I really like it, and the spoolie is really nice, but, and I love the color, dark blonde. It's a great product, but I just don't like packaging. It sucks. They need to really work on this because it's not worth the money. Well, this was only like seven or eight dollars, which is great, but it's ridiculous. So forget it, I'm done. So right now I'm using NYX and I love it. And it's more money, it's like 10 bucks at Ulta, but it's a really good, I like it, I'm wearing it today. And the last two things, this is some OxyClean Maxi Force, and this stuff is a miracle worker. I absolutely love it. Um, I needed some more. When I went looking for some in the pump, they didn't have any in this trigger. All they had was the stick. It's like the gel that comes out of the tip of the stick. And so I was like, all right. So I bought the stick and the stick is amazing. I love it. It's great. It takes out any stain I've ever had. Even um, washed and dried stains, set in stains. I just washed a pair of white shorts that had three stains on them from last year that I don't even remember. They came out. This stuff is the best. I will only get this OxyClean Max Force for my stain removal. It's amazing. Whether it's spray or stick, it's amazing, amazing. And the last thing I have is this Liquid Plumber Urgent Clear. Let me tell you what, this is a rock star. We have had the worst clog in our bathroom sink for months and I would pour cheaper stuff in. I don't, I, I got some from Dollar Tree, which is actually nice. It's called Mr. Mr. Plumber. This is Liquid Plumber. And it works fine, but that clog was so bad. And I would even pull out the, the plug and pull out all the goop and the hair and the grime myself. I poured other kinds of stuff in and it never worked. It was always just totally slow drain oh it was awful and sometimes it would stink like rotten eggs it was horrible and i even got the liquid plumber i'm pretty sure it was this brand industrial strength which i found over by the car part stuff nope didn't work one bit so this time i got this and this is the kind with the two parts it's the liquid and the gel i i poured the whole bottle in waited for about a half hour let the water run, the hot water run, cleared it right up, just like that. And it's still cleared up. Amazing, miracle worker, period. So if you have a nasty clog, try this. It's amazing and it's like $3. It is so amazing, I love it. And I got it at Walmart. And that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was a super long video. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time.